Joining me now is the Lion Man himself, the man who was in charge in 97. It is Sir Ian McGeekin. Ian, how good is it to be here, back in Wales and back with some of the guys from the team? Yeah, it's great, I think, and it's what's special about the Lions that we seem to get a good welcome in four countries, which, uh, you know, is nice. And, and to see, you know, people like Scott Gibbs again, Paul Wall, it's just, uh, it brings back many good memories. I just can't believe it's 25 years. Yeah, meeting back up with the guys now, does it feel like that long? No, not at all. When you start talking again, uh, you know, you, it brings back good memories and, and uh, yeah, you just wonder where, where all the years have gone. But as I say, it, it's just a really special feeling, you know, with that group. They, they were such a, a good group of players. And to be able to come together again, I think, is really just makes it a bit special. Now, your speeches from the tour have sort of gone down in history. And... The one in particular is, is known as one of the best in sports history, really. Were they planned speeches? Were they just from the heart? And did you realise they'd have so much impact? Uh, no, I didn't know they'd go out at all, actually. <laughs> it depended what came on this uh, fly on the wall, um, obviously the video. But no, I, I, I look back and you want to almost give players an understanding of what's coming and you know, from my own experience as a player back in South Africa in 74, I knew some of the pressures, but I just wanted to try and, and just get that feeling over, really. And, and um, you know, I used to go for a walk in the morning and just get my head right. So I never wrote it down. I just wanted to know in my head, you know, the sorts of thing I just wanted to get over, over to them so that they were as well mentally prepared as they could be for what was coming in the test match. Well, enjoy tonight. Thanks, Ian. Thank you. Thank you.